a rural care at church farm. It's a care farm and we work with people with learning difficulties and uh, all mental health problems on the farm and true to the real care farm statement we, we try to involve people in, in a real farm activities. Rural care is quite different to um, some of the other organisations that work with people with learning disabilities because it's a, a real working farm, it's a really peaceful setting, um, the guys get to sort of experience what life is like on the farm and interact with all the other staff working on the farm and see the benefit of what they do. So we help looking after the livestock, get involved in the horticulture activities, the vegetables growing. Collect eggs, feed, feed chickens, feed pigs, plants, pots, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm a volunteer here. I have a son who comes um, on a different day who's 21. He has Down syndrome and I find it such a, a wonderful and exciting project that um, you know, I come home here whenever I can as a volunteer. I love coming here. It's such an exciting and real project. We collect eggs every day at 11 o'clock so that's, that's the sort of regular to, to get some routine into the day. For the rest, we always have changing activities. We are collecting, collecting the eggs so they can get graded and then take them to the shop. Moving a chicken and finding eggs underneath. Um, really, really a, a, a wonderful thing for people to be involved in doing. Today we're out the eggs. We get involved in some of the retail, basically in, in everything that's part of the farm we get involved in. Uh, working in cafe. Yeah, working the cafe a lot of the guys' goals actually. Mm -hmm. My best job in the morning is cafe. So it would be nice for the last six months we've achieved that quite a few of the co farmers been going in the cafe. Enjoy that, didn't you, mate? Yeah, enjoy that. Yeah, I love cooking, I love curries. <laughs> Team And we, we try to um, get the activities to personal interests, abilities and needs of people. So if somebody particularly likes working in the shop, we, we'll try to accommodate that. And it's nice to do sort of real work with them and see how happy they are at the end of the day when they can look back at everything they've achieved. Yeah, every six months we sit down with each of the co-farmers and um, go through what they do and don't like on the farm. Uh, how they feel about the place, how they're progressing. We set goals based around the farm, what they can achieve, what they enjoy doing. And we find that when they actually achieve one of those goals, there's a great sense of uh, satisfaction ticking that off. Uh, as you see, we've got the board and the guy's going to put a star next to it. So that one's done. And then within the six months, they finish all three and we set something else. I think the concept is fantastic. It's nice to get the guys out and involved rather than sort of just being stuck indoors, sort of doing paint by numbers and that all day. Um, they learn a lot of life skills which I think is important and they're quite sort of involved with the community which is fantastic. The guys come here and within five minutes they're collecting eggs, you know, using power tools, working with livestock. I mean it's, it's a unique space and I think provides unique opportunities for, for people that otherwise just wouldn't access this kind of world. Keeps me busy. If I wasn't doing this, I'd be sitting at home. Something like this is quite relaxing and has quite a calming influence on the guys because they're in a wonderful setting. Seeing things, food being planted from the seed, little seedlings growing, planting it out, um, and, and harvesting, harvesting it. And then they've been taken to the shop, and from the shop they can, it goes to the cafe. 
um, and people are really seeing the whole food food process, um, you know, from start to end. <laughs> It's an incredible boost to, to people's self-confidence and their self-esteem to actually get involved in, in activities which are, which are real, you know, it's not just made up activities that don't really matter if you do them well or not. And I think that, that's where the real benefit comes from. Thumbs up, Ross. Thumbs up. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> okay.